right, hi everyone. So today is Runaberinpäivä. So if you're unaware of what the day is and have not yet checked my video from, was it a year ago? Maybe two years? It'll be in the tags, it'll be in the links. So do give that video a watch first if you want to know kind of the more of the backstory of this day because this video is focused purely on the Runeberg tarts themselves. So in Finnish it's called the Runeberin tort. And they look like this. They're in a package. So around the beginning of February, end of January, these will be sold in pretty much all the supermarkets in Finland. So this is what they look like. And I will just be eating it on camera, as weird as it is to say that out loud. So yeah, basically the tradition on this day, the only tradition really is to go and buy yourself one of these tarts. They do have vegan ones in the stores as well, and eat them. They're quite tasty, but they're not for everyone. Um, they're all going to be lactose-free in the stores because Finland is pretty good about lactose-free stuff. The ingredients are just mainly here. So this actual tart part, so this is kind of like a cakey consistency, and it's basically wheat and sugar and different oils and egg and then I think the more distinctive flavor would come from the orange juice and peel and the almond rohe what's a rohe in English like a like almond powder I suppose so this cake bit tastes very strongly kind of almondy and I guess it has a little bit of a tang, which would be the orange juice. And then on top, if you can see, well, some of the cream has come off in my bag when I was carrying this, but in the middle is like a raspberry jam and then surrounded, I guess this one is a little bit better. Surrounding it is like a white frosting, a white sugar frosting. And that is the Runeberg Torto. I feel weird calling it tart because I've never in my life heard anyone say a Runeberg tart. I guess it's, I don't know. So let me know in the comments if you've ever tried one of these before and did you like it? Let me know, yay or nay? Because I think it's a bit of a distinctive flavor so not everyone is so keen on these but I think most Finnish people do uh, or else I guess they wouldn't even be selling them anymore. So yeah, let's dig in. So I'm gonna try the cake bit first and I'll let you know my thoughts. Mm. See, I do like this. I like the almondy flavor. My favorite milk is almond milk, so maybe that tells you something, but it is kind of like a nutty, earthy taste to it with a bit of a tang. And then of course, the best part in the middle, which is the raspberry jam. Mm. Tastes how you would expect it to taste like. And then the frosting. Mm. It's like a sugar frosting. So it just tastes like sugar, <laughs> plain sugar in a more liquidy form. But yeah, it is a very peculiar taste. It's, I don't, I can't really think of anything else that would have the similar, maybe some cakes do. I'm not really a cake expert and I don't eat cake all that much. So maybe they, there is cakes that taste like this, but at least to me, it's a very distinctive flavor. Like it screams, Aruna Bering Torto, cause I don't really, I can't think of anything else that would taste like this. But yeah, mm. I personally like it, so. There's that. And yeah, basically, because last year or whenever I filmed my previous video, I wasn't actually in Finland, so I didn't have any Runa Perin Tortus to try with you guys. Um, I thought this year I would actually buy the tarts and try it with you guys and show you what they look like, like actually look like on camera. So you guys can see what the heck I'm talking about and I'm not just slapping a picture for you guys to see. 
So yeah, if you are in Finland, go to the store and grab yourself one to try if you have not already. And let me know in the comments what you think of them. And yeah, I guess that just about concludes this video. So till next time.